All right, so we're back. Um, so let's go ahead and start building our neural network. Now, in our class here, we're going to need all kinds of stuff. Um, so to begin with, let's break this down into pieces and start doing, um, let's define the transfer functions that we're going to use. Uh, and for right now, we'll just use the sigmoid exclusively. Um, and then we'll actually be adding on to that here in the future. So in our namespace, let's go ahead and uh, define a region. So let's call this um, transfer functions and their derivatives. Okay. And a region. <coughs> now this is just here because it's going to be collapsible and that's awesome. So the first thing I want to do um, is enumerate our different kinds of transfer functions. Okay, so let's make an enum transfer function. Um, and let's add a default, so none, which will do nothing. And let's add one called sigmoid, right, which is the one you guys should be familiar with if you watched the other video. Um, <clears throat> we're also going to create a static class called transfer functions. All right. Um, it's going to have two methods, two public methods, <coughs> an evaluate method, and a evaluate derivative method. Now, if you recall, um, evaluate is going to well in the sorry in the algorithm we need to both be able to evaluate the function and evaluate their derivatives as part of the um, algorithm. Uh, and so these will be hook methods that we're going to use uh, that we can call, tell it what kind of function that I enumerate up here I want to evaluate, and it will return either the value or its derivative. Um, I suppose <coughs> should give it a type, so let's make these doubles. All right. Um, and let's do the following. So evaluate is going to take two parameters. It's going to need a transfer function. Uh, we'll call it tfunc, call it whatever you want. And we're going to need an input, and we'll just let that be a double. All right. What we'll do is we will switch on the transfer function. And depending on which one we choose, we will return the appropriate output. OK. So transfer function dot none will be the same as the default case, which will just return, I don't know, zero. OK. So that's like that. And we'll do the same thing here for the derivative. Uh, we will switch on, oops, I need to give it parameters. So transfer function tfunc and a double input value. We will switch on the transfer function. And in the case where if for some reason they pass in none or they don't pass in something meaningful, we will just return 0. OK? So those are our little hooks there. Now down here, um, we're going to define our actual transfer functions. So <clears throat> transfer function definitions. So let's define the sigmoid. So this will be a private double sigmoid, right? Uh, with double x, that'll be the input. And if you recall, this is 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x. So let's go ahead and write that out. Let's return 1.0 divided by 1.0, oops, plus math.exp is base e raised to power whatever you pass in, negative x in this case. Okay, so that is the sigmoid. Um, we also need its derivative, so let's create another function, private double sigmoid derivative. Uh, we'll, we'll take an input x and return, if you remember, sigma time is 1 minus sigma, 
So we can go ahead and just return it, uh, or sorry, write it in terms of itself, which is great. So sigmoid of x times 1 minus sigmoid of x, like that. Okay. Now let's go back to our evaluate method up here um, and add the case that we care about. So case, uh, this transfer function is sigmoid. I'm going to return sigmoid of whatever the input is, input, okay, like that. And then in evaluate derivative, I'll do the same thing. Case, transfer function, sigmoid. We're going to return sigmoid derivative of the input, just like that, okay? And so this is going to be in the future when we need to add different kinds of transfer functions, we're just going to add here an enumeration for it. We're going to add its definition right here. And then we're going to add a case statement here, which will evaluate the appropriate method. And that will be it. Okay, so for right now, we can wrap that back up. And we'll just have our sigmoid transfer function. Um, and we will expand on that shortly.